The Anaheim Ducks hosting the Boston Bruins, and the Bruins are minus 200 on the money line. The Ducks are plus 170. The over-under is five and a half goals. The Bruins laying a goal and a half are plus 130. The Ducks getting a goal and a half are minus 150. Now, the Bruins are on a five-game winning streak. They are 73 in their past 10 games, and in the games where they were a favorite and had to win the game by two, minus a goal and a half, they are three and four, and they absolutely demolished the Kings last night. Now, the Ducks are on a two-game losing streak. They are four and six in their past 10 games. And in those games where they were an underdog and could not lose by two, getting a goal and a half, they are one and three. Now, head-to-head -head is where it actually gets interesting. The Ducks are seven and three in their past 10 meetings against the Bruins. The Ducks are on a one-game winning streak against the Bruins. The over is two and one. The favorite is seven and three. The last time that they played was on January 24th, and the Ducks won the game 5-3 to three in Boston. So they played like a month ago. Now, I understand that a lot of things can happen in that month, but the Ducks seemingly own the Bruins. I understand that the Bruins are hot, so this is probably going to come back to bite me in the ass. But I'm going to take the Ducks with the money line, the Ducks getting a goal and a half, and the over 5.5. We'll see if I'm right. We'll see if I'm wrong. I probably will be wrong because the Bruins are starting to hit their stride. But we shall see.